Hello and good day everyone. My name is Dr. Sarajul Fikri Muhammad. Today I'm going to talk about introduction to uh, construction management. We focusing on project cost management for M&E works. Why it is important for us to understand or to uh, do a measurement uh, systematically for M&E works in building. First, the motivation for M&E works measurement. We in Malaysia, we are a uh, sub of the ASEAN countries in Malaysia, is one of the region that are fast growing and tending towards developed nation. We need to make sure that our countries and also ASEAN's uh, region, we practicing international best practice. And for mechanical and electrical engineering services subsector, is important in our construction project but the cost management is neglected by quantity surveyors and also the design team. The cost of M&E services is fast growing. You go everywhere in the world, it's always increased and there is a need for QS and also the design team to provide total, total cost management of building. This is important part of uh, design team we need to manage our building systematically. Based on our research, we adapted from McCaffrey in 2011. Uh, you can see in this table, number one to number eight, this is the average cost of the M&E services in building. For example, in a school, the cost of M&E is about 20 to 25%. For hotel development, the cost is about 30 to 40%. Hospital is 40 to 45%, and for data center, especially for telecommunication data center, the cost is about 60%. This is quite huge amount of the construction cost in building sector. And if this is another data from our research, uh, for example, if you are a design team or you are mechanical and electrical consultant, you need to be careful for university building. Okay. University building, there are three types of the building in university. First, your university uh, admin building, administration building. Second, accommodation. And third is university laboratories. Laboratory cost for the university is about 40 to 60 percent. And as a design team, mechanical, electrical consultant, and also a QS consultant, you need to make sure that we manage it systematically. And what is the benefits? What is the benefits to us as a design team, as a consultant, to the contractors, and also to the client? First, by using standard method of measurement, we prompt the design team and client to finalize the design prior to uh, build preparation. That means all the design part of the engineering services will be uh, completed before we produce BQ. Second, we can avoid the need for contractors to measure the works themselves because the quantity that we produce in the BQ can be a guide to contractor to do the cost estimating, to do the project estimating for the tender purposes. Third, provide commonality in tenders, especially for client and the consultant. We need a good uh, rate, a good price by the contractor for the engineering services and easy for us to uh, do the selection, the best contractor for that particular project. And the coding system enable ease of the computer application. We can link by use, uh, we have the BQ, we can link with the beam, we can link with any uh, computer either estimating that can uh, produce what we call uh, the quantity, can produce the rate and also can uh, help us in tendering processes. And for the contractor and also for the design team, can be used as a basis for interim revelation. This is important when you want to submit during the uh, construction stage, we need to submit the interim evaluation and using the BQ, easy for, uh, for us to trace the physical progress of that particular mechanical and en electrical engineering services in building and we can submit or prepare the claim systematically. And 
for the the rates there is important rate inside the BQ contain uh, uh, can be used as a basis of valuing variation during the construction stage a lot of the uh, design changes a lot of requests from the client we need to change the design we need to change the the space or the, we, we need to change the equipment use and then the rate contained in the BQ can be used as a basis of the variation works and also it will help the consultant and also contractor uh, to assist in risk management and different uh, with the uh, uh, BQ which is BQ for MNE problem when uh, the practice we practice in a uh, current uh, current uh, what we call situation now which is we are using the lump sum method what is the uh, problem or what is the disadvantages of the lump sum method first it contrasts with the BQ which is the difficulty in tender evaluation by consultant difficult for design team especially MNE QS and also client to choose uh, which rate is the best and etc because contractor will give what we call lump sum uh, rate lump sum amount of the uh, what we call en uh, electrical and mechanical engineering services increase number two increase in tender cost to contractors because contractor need to remeasure contractor need to go through every single uh, part in the drawing and technical spec in order for them to do the the project estimating for the tender purposes and during the construction stage stage assessment of variation is made difficult use, uh, because we don't have basis of the negotiation with bq you can have the basis in terms of the quantity and also the basis the basis in terms of the rate and any additional equipment any additional design we uh, need to refer to the rate and quantity in the bq and uh, for the submission of the interim valuation process is quite complicated because uh, the contractor uh, give the what we call estimate amount of the work done on the construction site but the consultant need to check whether the the physical uh, uh, progress and also the what we call financial progress is similar between uh, claim by the contractor and also endorsed by the consultant and finally contractor are made to bear the risk of under measurement by using bq we can reduce we can reduce the impact of the under measurement by contractor i think uh, for uh, module one this is what we call brief introduction why we need a uh, project cost management for many works and uh, throughout this uh, module, module number one to num module number five, number four, uh, the knowledge, you need to understand the knowledge. I'm going to discuss about the knowledge of the MNE services, the process, the component, and also the terminology used by the design team, especially mechanical and electrical consultants and also QS consultants. And we discuss about measurement rules. What is the rules? in the SMM for the uh, what we call for the mechanical and plumbing engineering installation and also for electrical engineering installation in building and little bit about construction economics and financial management and also business administration and little bit I'll uh, show to you the construction law or uh, case study about the the uh, what we call dispute between uh, client and also the contractors and the skills during the workshop, we what we are going to discuss about the how to do the measurement, how to do the analysis, how to check the document, etc. And our final output is BQ for mechanical and electrical works in building. I think uh, that's all for uh, this uh, session. And uh, for further uh, for further information, you can uh, 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 go to the our website, which is openlearning.com slash courses slash sbeq 3213x thank you so much